Hey guys, how's it going? This is Brandon again with Emacs, and today we're gonna to be looking at the Baby Hawk again, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install this XM receiver. This F XM receiver is made by FR Sky. This would be the receiver I would recommend for those Tyrannus and QX7 users out there. You could either use the XM or the XM Plus. You'll be good with either one of those. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do to install this receiver is lift the top shell of the body off of the Baby Hawk. To do this, if you flip it over, you'll see that there's two screws, one right here and one right here by the JST connector. Go ahead and unscrew those using a 1.5 millimeter hex tool. Simply turn left on each screw. So I went ahead and took off the two screws at the bottom see one right here that's about what it looks like and you'll see that we no longer have a screw here or here at this point you'll notice on the arms these little tabs so what you need to do is go to each corner lift a tab and so on and so on on each arm And once you have all the tabs lifted from each arm, you'll see it's just hanging loosely. The only thing keeping it in place now is the props. So you clear the props out of the way. You'll see you can have the body like this and just go ahead and lift like that. That's what the body looks like. And now you'll see that you have access to the ESCs, the flight control a little more. Uh, you could install the receiver without moving the camera, but just for clarity, I'll go ahead and remove the camera mount so that you guys have a better view of the Femto flight controller. So for removing the camera mount, if we go ahead and turn it over, you'll notice that each side of the body has two screws, two right here and two right here for four screws total. What you're gonna wanna do is again, use a 1.5 millimeter hex tool, insert it into the hole and then you'll see that there's a little nut right here that you wanna loosen up. So you could sometimes loosen it with your hand. If it's still a little too tight, you could just get something to hold down that nut and just go ahead and loosen it right up. All right. Now you'll be able to just lift up the camera mount. You'll see that the camera is still plugged in. You don't need to remove the plug to install the receiver, you'll see that it has plenty of slack right here so that you could just go ahead and put your receiver right on there. So now, the receiver, as I mentioned, we will be using an XM, which is from FR Sky. You could either use an XM or an XM Plus, it's up to you. Uh, the XM works perfectly for the range that we need for this micro. The XM Plus has full range, uh, so really up to you. The cost difference between them is only about $3, so. And be good to go either way. Just open this right up. And look at this little guy right here. That <laughs> is tiny to give you guys an idea. So the good thing about the FR Sky receivers when it comes to the Baby Hawk, the way that they have the pinout is you could actually drop it right onto the pin out right here coming from the Fento flight controller. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and just drop the flight controller right on and solder it up. What I would recommend doing is getting a little bit of double-sided tape and lay this on the double-sided tape like so. And just go ahead and cut it to size. And I'll mount perfectly onto the Femto exactly like that. So looking at back over at the Femto, You'll notice that the holes are a little bit small to drop it right on. If you look closely, it doesn't quite fit. See that? So what you wanna do is go ahead and open up these pins a little bit. So that could be as easy as just getting your hand, opening it up a little bit, just widening it. Just like that, and just drop it. See, that's what's great about the, using the FR Sky on the Femto. It literally drops right on. So you see that right there, we dropped the receiver right onto the Femto. And now we're ready to go ahead and solder the three points right there. So here we'll go ahead and start soldering this. You wanna just go ahead and heat up the pad. Apply some solder, nice and easy. Don't need to sit on it too long. 
So we went ahead and put the receiver in place. The good thing about the FR Sky XM or XM Plus is it drops right onto the pins. So you saw it was a pretty easy and fast job. Now all we're gonna do is go ahead and button her back up, starting with the camera mount. Just pops into place. Get your four camera mount screws and four nuts and go ahead and get her screwed back in. All right guys, so we went ahead and got all four of the screws and nuts in place. All we're gonna go ahead and do now is get our body back. And then turn it through. Go ahead and place it back over the camera. And slide it down, just gotta move the props out the way. That's normally all that keeps it out of being in place. So now you'll see the body's back on there, loose. Just clip it in. That's the noise you want. Take your 1.5 millimeter screw, get the screws for the body, and just tighten her back up like so. Again, for the plastic parts, you don't have to torque it really hard just till it's nice and snug right there, and you're good to go. So we'll go ahead and finish up this last screw. And your receiver is installed in your Baby Hawk. All you wanna do is mount your wire a uh, number of ways you can mount it. Some people just use a zip tie and heat shrink going up. We like to insert it into the body and wrap it under the flight controller for a nice clean install. So we're all done. I'm ready to go fly. I'm sure you guys wanna go fly. So as soon as you're done, make sure you clean up your workstation like I have to do right now and get out there and have fun. Uh, make sure you follow the YouTube, like, subscribe, comment down below. Let us know anything we might've missed or anything you guys wanna see. As always, you can find us on Emacs USA for Facebook, Emacs underscore USA for Instagram, Emacs-USA.com is a website, and Emacsmodel.com for our international customers. Thanks guys, have a good one. I'm out.